Okay, guys, I think I figured out a way to read my voltage. I don't know what I was thinking. It was late. I was tired. We've got an analog meter. Um, I don't know why I didn't think to use it, but it works great. Um, it seems to be doing accurate measurements. So, um, right now, I am at 41 kilohertz, uh, 0.09 amp, and my output is 1027 volts DC. My input is right about 9, just a little under 9 volts. Um, and you can see my arcing out of here. So, basically, there's my fix for my problem. Like I said, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I was frustrated and tired. But, I figured it out. Um, but what I found out interesting, as I'm playing with this now, is that my voltage is really high there. My amperage is pretty low. But my voltage here. Now watch my analog meter and I'll adjust this, this frequency down just a hair. And look how much my voltage changed. Just from changing that little bit. I go a little slower. I'll put it back around the 40 mark. There, it's going back up. Now watch, watch the uh, analog meter. Let me get it set. Okay. Well, you can watch all meters, but what's interesting is I hit a sweet spot, and the the input voltage goes way down, like right there. It's down. Uh, it's about five volt. My output is still. 946, 965, it's going back up now. So I'm not changing anything. But you hit a sweet spot and it, the voltage actually drops pretty pretty far. The amperage went down too. So I believe if you would sit down and really um, tweak this whole entire thing and get it set just right, I think you could get a, a lot out for a very little.